Good morning, YouTube. Today's the big day. It is Wednesday. It is just past eight o'clock. Slept on the couch last night. I did not use my green blanket because uh, it's polyester and it doesn't breathe. Even though it's very thin, it gets very stuffy. So I just use my regular blanket and my regular pillow. I actually slept pretty well. Everything in the house is ready to go. So I moved all my boxes over into the kitchen. There's a few more boxes I'm gonna tape up before the movers or while the movers here, it will probably take them like at least a couple hours. So I'm gonna tape up the last few boxes pretty soon. I just assembled my bed yesterday, like you guys would have just saw in the time lapse. That IKEA bed that you see everyone has, that's the bed that I have. Everything that the movers are not gonna touch is in the bathroom. So I still have a few things that I'm using right now. And then I'm gonna pack the rest of this into the car. I picked up the rental car yesterday. I don't think I got any footage because I just went to the airport at SFO, picked up the car, dropped by the ATM really quick. And then I just started loading some of my luggage, some of my bags into the car. I tried to find street parking, which in theory works and is completely fine. But but I realized that I probably had about 10 bags or boxes combined to load into the car. And it was a lot easier to just park it into the underground parking of the building to load it. And then when I saw the price and after circling around the neighboring blocks for a few times, I was like, you know what? I'll pay the extra X amount of dollars to park it downstairs overnight, especially with my stuff in it. It's just nice that it's gonna be dry and safe and secure and just directly downstairs. Did my hair today in a long time. Not super happy with how it looks, but it will be good enough. All right, YouTube. Look around, this is it. Everything is gone, except for I've got a little bit of luggage in the uh, bathroom. That's where I've been hiding out while the movers have been moving everything else. It is 11 o'clock, the movers got here on time. The loading dock was fine, that opened up on time. And we started properly moving stuff out of the apartment by like 9.30. Only took an hour and a half, so that's really fast. In the worst case, I wasn't expecting to start driving until two o'clock. I am going to do a final cleanup a little bit, just like 15 minutes, wipe down the counters in the bathroom. And then I need to put some sunscreen on. It's gonna be decently sunny, and I'm gonna be out on the road in the car for like six hours. I'm gonna start driving probably before noon. So that's two hours ahead of schedule, that's awesome. I'm going to stop somewhere for food and maybe gas around one o'clock. I think I wanna get down to like South Bay-ish area, just out of San Francisco. Try to hit some drive throughs there. There's no drive throughs anything in San Francisco. So I'll go down to Silicon Valley, South Bay, that area. I know there's an in and out right by Highway 101. That's about 40, 50 minutes down from San Francisco. So so maybe that's where we'll make the pit stop today. I have not had any food yet. I had a protein shake, but then I haven't even had a protein bar because I didn't want to get up early to get food. I also want to show you guys, I've got my full on gimbal big camera set up. I was earlier just doing some slow mo dramatic shots in the parking garage of the car, some shots with the luggage loading in, and then some shots of the building and then of the mover. So that's gonna be the other video that will eventually come out. This regular vlog will come up first. That dramatic looking little short video, short film will come out afterwards. Navigate to Los Angeles. All right, Los Angeles, let's go. Hey YouTube, we are on the road. Quick road trip update. We've driven about 180. Keeping object on road ahead. Thank you, Google. 180 miles that we've covered already. We are in the middle of California. 
going to be another 200 miles before we get to the Airbnb. So probably another, I don't know, 180, 190 miles before we hit SoCal proper. Hey YouTube, it is almost nine o'clock. I am in my Airbnb in LA. I just got Chipotle for dinner. There's a full kitchen, but I feel like I'm gonna be ordering a lot more food from restaurants than I usually would prior to when I'm at home because I just don't think I'm gonna cook a bunch of stuff or buy a ton of food to keep in the fridge just because I'm not gonna hear that much. Road trip was pretty good. There's not that much traffic. The only traffic is really the semis on the two lane highways. There are always semis to try to pass other semis at like 60 miles an hour and it holds up all the other cars. Yeah, but I got here in a pretty good time. That was probably like the best LA San Francisco road trip I've had. The car was really good. I'm glad I upgraded. It was only $10 more for two days. So it was like a no brainer to actually do the upgrade. So I'm glad I looked into it. Weather was pretty good. The traffic was not that much traffic, honestly. I got here two or three hours earlier than my worst case expected scenario because in my planning I thought I would have arrived like either right around now or maybe a half hour ago but I've been here for like two and a half hours now. Hey YouTube it is nearly 1 30 on this lovely Thursday in SoCal. I am waiting for my movers to get to the storage facility so that they can put all my stuff away. When I signed up with the movers initially there was a pricier option where they'll deliver everything the next day or there was a slower, cheaper option where it could be up to a week from when they pick up your stuff before they deliver it. I thought, well, all my stuff is going to storage. I'll pick the slower option. Then a few days before my move, they called and said, oh, we're going to deliver your stuff the next day, which I was able to accommodate, but I had to move some stuff around. All right, it is now quarter past three. I'm at Bob Hope Airport in Burbank because this is the closest rental car location to the storage facility. It was, it was only like a couple miles away. So it was a convenient place to return their rental car. So now I'm going to Uber back home. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a little red right here. Two, three weeks ago, I pinched myself when I was flossing at night. So I was like holding the floss and then the nail on my thumb somehow like got pinched. It's only I can injure myself doing something like flossing. So it became like a sore, like a cut or like a wound and it was healing. And then I've just been using my water pick instead of the floss. I put my water pick away into the storage. So last night I just had floss and I didn't realize it until I started flossing. I was like, oh damn, I have that thing there. And then I pinched myself again, right where it was still not fully healed. So that's why it's red there right now. Only I can hurt myself flossing. I need to walk back to the rent the car place. I left my duffel bag in the back seat. All right, it is quarter to seven at night and I have had one of those breakfast sandwiches from Starbucks and a coffee in the morning. And then I had six piece McNuggets, but I swear there's only four pieces in there and like half of a small order of fries. That was right before the movers came at the storage facility. So that's all the food I had. I've been trying to not eat too much because I just haven't been that hungry, I guess because I'm just running around on all time anyways and I feel like I have picked up a little bit of fat being in shelter in place for the last four months now so a little bit of intermittent fasting is not the worst thing but tonight I felt like Japanese food so I ordered Japanese I'm trying to save money at the same time getting the delivery so I actually ordered two or three meals worth of food so it came out to like $50, but there was like a $7 off coupon that made it cheaper, but it's like four different things that I ordered. So I've got a fridge and I've got a microwave. So I ordered things that I could put in the fridge that would keep for a while that I could reheat. So like chicken, gyoza, 
salad. Rice does not keep. If you order anything that has rice in it, rice goes dry really quick, so you just have to eat it right away. Yes, it's like a $50 order of food, but it's not one meal, it's like three meals. And I guess eventually, maybe tomorrow over the weekend, I will go to the grocery store and start getting some groceries. This looks really good. I haven't had Japanese food in... Order Japanese one time or maybe twice for delivery when I was sheltering home with you guys in San Francisco. That was at least a month or two ago. But that was, was that just sushi? Anyways, but this is like exactly what I need. I haven't had like a proper meal. If you can call this a proper meal, this looks like a proper meal to me right now. It's got carbs, proteins, got fruits, and it's got veggies. Hi, it is. Oh my God, what day of the week is it? It's Friday. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, it's Friday and it's seven o'clock-ish almost. Uh, I've done nothing today. Well, I didn't do nothing. I've stayed in the house almost the whole day, except in the morning, I went to grab a coffee and a little bit of food from Starbucks. And there was a Starbucks literally on the same block, like a two minute walk. I've been doing a bunch of mortgage, paperwork, house hunting stuff on my computer. And I'm starting to think about what car or how to get a car. Like, should I take out a loan? Should I go with something? A little bit cheaper should i lease something what kind of car do i want so i mean i'm into cars anyway so a little bit i kind of enjoy like shopping for a car but it's also i just want to make the numbers work i don't want to spend tons of money on a car so i just want to see like what option is best for me especially given that i'm trying to buy a house i'm gonna wrap up the vlog here because at the beginning of this vlog it was tuesday night in my old apartment in san francisco and now we're like in la and it's like phew, this is like the most special of the vlogs that we've done so far it was like the big move that we've been talking about for months all right so we're gonna end it right here next upload will be monday let's try to keep it on the monday wednesday friday the only thing i'm worried about is the internet here is actually fairly good internet i did a speed test i got 200 down when i try to upload this video it could take a long time back in san francisco i had fiber internet which was a gig down and also a gig upload so it made the uploads for the youtube videos it would upload literally in like 30 or 60 seconds i'm probably gonna spend like 15 or 30 minutes uploading this. That's how long it's gonna take to upload to YouTube because I think the upload speeds are really, really slow. Okay, I'm gonna figure that out. You guys have a good day or night, wherever you are. The next vlog, in the next video, I'm gonna go through your comments since the last time we went through your comments, which was like two vlogs ago. Stay tuned for that. If you got any questions or wonder what I'm doing in LA, comment down below, but until next time. Bye YouTube.